Hello and welcome Kingdom Citizens. We have an interesting scenario on the board today. We're dealing with a woman 69 years of age, 69 years young, at a Washington DC area. And our primary goal in our personal finances here with this client of mine is to 10x right they want to drastically shift their whole financial environment so let's dive into the four major numbers to begin with right we're dealing with income around three thousand sixty eight dollars a month our expenses are two thousand one hundred sixty two dollars and forty two cents this is my living expenses not including um, all of the debt payments. We have some interesting things going on in this case where our numbers are not totally accurate. So I am being super conservative and giving her a cash flow range of anywhere as low as $100 to as high as $300 to start off with. Okay. And we have a total debt. We're in September of 2020. $32,617.47. I do not have a debt tool at the moment. Here are the main debts on the board that she has. We're dealing with a credit card, which is now going to be somewhere around a $300 balance. Slight correction, we have a credit card at $761, where we're paying $40 a month. We have an EIDL loan that we recently got for $26,400. The payment is 130, but we don't have payments for the next 12 months. We have a couple of loans, one for 341.90, monthly payments $25 at 14.14%. We have another loan that we're not actually making payments on. They don't kick until later, I believe a couple months from now. The balance is at 3,000 181.19. And we have a secured loan with Navy Fed at $1,326.65. The monthly payment on this is $90 at a 2.25% interest rate. We have property taxes, which is a debt overdue. $2,500 is the estimated amount, and she's paying about $200 a month. We also have a bunch of parking tickets, racking up about $900 monthly payment on it is a hundred dollars now in this particular case we are not positioned for the velocity banking concept for this to work effectively so we need to do some things to position ourselves properly for the concept now her goal is to build a business her goal is to 10x we're 69 years old, and here's where creative financial strategy comes into play, where we don't normally go straight after paying off debt, which is what is the typical traditional uh, advice that we all get. I mean, even I do this, right? Typically, majority of the time, I push people to you know pay off some of your bad debts first before we start jumping into new things now there are some exceptions and i want to highlight some of the things that i look at when i'm getting ready to violate say some of my principal fundamental things that i you know live by or run by and so one of those things is the person's the individual's you know capability potential their desire to build a business to run a business to 10x their income right because i could easily create a plan where we simply start off by doing debt snowball right and i want to lay that out right so uh ideally if i have you know 100 to 300 dollars a month in cash flow Typically, I'm going to start off with her lower debts. I'm going to start knocking some of her credit cards that she has. And she has a couple other ones that I didn't really put on the board. I didn't mention everything because they're fairly small and they're going to get knocked off. But nonetheless, I would guide that person 
to naturally uh, go after their smaller debts, build the credit up to then get access to a personal line of credit to then start chunking, doing velocity banking, to then eventually graduate into infinite banking and then eventually graduate into business, creating a business, running a business. Now, in her particular case, she already has a business, okay? She's in the tax planning, preparing space, and she really wants to build this up. Now, the other thing I look at is her age, 69 years old. I don't have all the time in the world to be focusing on, say, paying off all of my debt, especially if it's not, I should say, killing me. Now, I know the numbers are small, right? I know the numbers are small. I know the cash flow is small. But we have an opportunity to shift our way of thinking and position us for greatness and still go back to the fundamentals of, of paying off all our debt. So if we were to go the debt snowball route and then graduate to velocity banking, then graduate to infinite banking, that could easily take about a year, year and a half to two years or so to really get ourselves up to that point. And then she can do things like cutting back, right? Being frugal, uh, minimizing on expenses, trying to reduce costs, right? All those normal traditional stuff, right? We can still do that with the next strategy that I'm gonna present. So I just wanna lay that out for everybody so that we, we don't get confused as to why Denzel is gearing this person to do something totally different from what we're accustomed to, right? So some of the things I wanna highlight is the fact that she has $15,000 in a savings account, we have 1,000 in a checking account, and we have $2,900 in another checking account. So money kind of uh, spread out here a bit. Now, that $15,000, along with the 1,000, along with the 2,900, actually came from this EIDL loan for 26,400. So, between 26,400 and those numbers added up together, she has already thrown money at debt, right? So she's paid off some debt so far, and she has invested in some programs to help build herself up. One of those programs she invested in, in me, of course, which is why I have her numbers on the board here today. So she bought my course. She bought my friend's course, uh, Alex, who does business marketing and consulting. So she bought that. And she also invested in some credit repair. And we started getting into some trouble in terms of where do I focus my time? The, the financial space, Financial, personal finances can be very, very difficult, right? We can get lost in the sauce sometimes. And it could be really very, very difficult to figure out the number one thing I should be focusing on most. So as I was talking to her, we came up with an idea, right? And I want to present it to you all and get some feedback and see what you guys think. So with the $2,900 that she has in checking, mind you, this is not money that she saved up, accumulated. This is debt on top of debt, right? So it's the $32,000 is in there, okay? So she doesn't really have uh, $32,000 plus more. No, it's $32,000 total, right, of, of debt, okay, that, that $26,400. All together is included in that. So I want to be, I want to be clear. Um, so with that, the twenty nine hundred I'm looking at. I said, all right. We have this secured loan for one thousand three twenty six sixty five. If I was to pay that off in full, I could get fifteen hundred dollars back. I close out the account. I get $1,500 back and I can go use that to invest in myself, 
to invest in my business to build myself up to 10x because that is the original goal of factoring the age of the person, the, the, the fact that they have a business already, a direction that they want to move in, and a very strong conviction, commitment that they're going to make this happen. Now, what is the disadvantage to this? The disadvantage to not paying attention to paying off debt, right? So we're going a little more radical here, untraditional, right? Not common. The risk, or I should say some of the drawbacks, is her simply failing, putting herself into more debt technically by investing in things, in business strategies, and then not following through and failing, right? So that can be a big, I should say, no-no for a lot of people, which is why a lot of people may not go this route. So I want to be clear with my viewers. You know, I'm still very inclined to showing people how to pay off debt first, graduate to Velocity Banking, position myself for infinite banking, then start a business 10x, create wealth, perpetuate my kingdom. In that order is typically how most people will go, but that's not always the case, right? So coming back to this, I was thinking in my head, 2,900 minus the 13,2665 gives me a $90 cash flow gain. I'm left with $1,573.35. I then take $626.73 and pay off three credit cards that she has. It's not on the board right here. Three other credit cards. That would give me a $68 cash flow gain. Save money on interest, right? Mind you, I'm using debt to pay debt over here, right? So these, this isn't money she actually saved up, all right? So now I'm left with $946.62 from that $2,900. Now, when she closes this account out, she's going to get $1,500 back. Out of that $1,500, her goal is to pay my friend Alex that does business uh, coaching and consulting, helping people 10x their income like he 10x mine by building a business online and uh, you know doing outreach and reaching out to clients and selling and marketing, promoting, right, sales. She's going to take $1,400 pay Alex. The other $100 is going to go back into her checking account, which then leaves us with $1,046.62. And then the cash flow goes up the 90, the 68. So it puts me in the, you know, 450, 500 range or as low as 300. Okay. Expenses drop a little bit. Yes. Some debts pay, get paid off. But still, I'm technically in the same amount of debt. All I did was kind of shift it. Because remember, this EIDL loan, there's no payments for 12 months. Right? So I'm not actually paying this 130 right now. It doesn't have to until 12 months from now. It's still accruing interest. Right? But at a super low rate. And she's kind of consolidating into that. And then using that money to build and fund her business and get access to information that most people do not have access to. So $1,400 goes to my friend Alex, pays the man, right? And he's going to show her how to 10x. And then I said, oh, look, if we're going to go this route, we're going to use all of our cash flow and go all in on her business. All in means I'm risking it all, right? If I fail then I still have debt. I still don't have wealth. I might get frustrated. Okay. So I want to, you know, lay that out for you guys so you can identify, is this the right route for me when I'm looking at my personal finances? Is this the way I want to go? All right. So in her business, she does financial budgeting, tax planning, giving to the youth. And she also has uh, teamed up with me in a company called United Financial Freedom that sells financial softwares to individuals to help them pay off debt. So she's added that into her, uh, you know, arsenal of, of products and services that she's going to offer. So if we go ahead and do this, the benefits is that I can go from making three grand a month to 6,000 to 9,000 
to 20,000 to 30,000. There's no limit as to how much money I can make on the internet because of the environment that we're in right now. Everybody's going online. Everybody is grabbing attention, getting access to resources, getting access to information that most people don't know about. And, you know, I'm delivering it here to you today. So this isn't, you know, your typical, you know, strategy that I normally uh, do with clients. But I'm always open to exploring other ideas, other strategies to get me to the same end game, the same goal, right? So if I, again, so I could go the safe route, which is debt snowball, build my credit, right? Get access to a line of credit eventually, do velocity banking, graduate to infinite banking, then 10X. She's doing it reverse. She's ignoring her credit, right? We're not Currently today, September 2020, she does not have a debt tool. She does not have good credit, right? She owes money in parking, parking tickets. We got property taxes overdue. She had a bankruptcy in the past. She's got things that are hurting her credit score, right? So she could go the route of repairing credit, right? Then, you know, doing debt snowball, right? Just gradually paying off debt, but not there's no money being invested right we don't have any assets created in her portfolio there's nothing that she can rely on right that will that will outlive her is what i'm saying she doesn't have an asset that will outlive her which is why at the age of 69 i'm very inclined to creating an asset that will outlive her that will outlive her working capability right i would say maybe she's got a good 10 to 15 years left in the tank of of working for someone else working for herself she can do that forever anyone can do that forever when you work for yourself you empower yourself it no longer becomes work you're simply being you're just simply being you're becoming who you really are in this world and fulfilling a purpose and you have ultimate satisfaction you have heaven on earth so to recap out of the money that she has sitting from the eidl loan i'm only taking 2900 to pay off the secured loan right why would i do that that's the most amount of cash i can get back i strip it back out and i throw it at my business that's a write-off i'm investing in myself $1,400 is what the program costs. I'm left with 100, got 1046.62, right? Uh, I also take 626.73, pay off some debts that could give me the highest cash flow gain, which is typically credit cards, right? Out of all her balances, the credit cards are the lowest balances for the highest cash flow and the highest interest savings. And then the 1,000 that she has in the checking account and the other 1,000 that's left over from that move is going to fund the business. It's going to help her create a membership-based service for her financial budgeting courses, her tax planning, giving to the youth, um, selling the financial software that she teamed up with me on, providing that service, right? Creating her unique value proposition, her unique offer, her signature offer, her irresistible offer. She's going to create video content that costs money. Got to get the mic. Got to get the lights. Got to get the video. Got to get the audio. So she's going to learn a lot of different things in the process of building her wealth. And as long as she doesn't quit, as long as she stays focused on one thing at a time. And here's where I believe having a fantasy league is very important. In a world of information overload syndrome, IOS, right? I need to focus on a few people. I can't be listening to Joe, Susan, Rob, Mary, Tom, Tim, Jimmy, right? I got to listen to like one to three people, right? And out of those one to three people, each of them have different expertise. I'm not going to listen to three spiritual coaches, I'm going to get nowhere. 
I'm not going to listen to three financial coaches. I'm going to get nowhere. They're all going to have their own strategies, right? So this strategy that I'm presenting gets the same results as if uh, I was to go, you know, from step one to step four, right? Positioning, debt snowball, velocity banking, infinite banking, 10x. The difference is time. How fast do I get to the end goal? If she commits, I know it is possible because I've done it, that within six to nine months, a year at max, before the EID alone kicks in, she could easily 2x to 5x her income. If she does so, she could write a check and wipe out all the debt in one shot. It's not like I have $332,000 of debt. See, that is another thing I factored in here is age, amount of debt, and positioning. I know she has low income. I know the odds are against her. She's older, right? You know, cash flow's low, credit's bad. I get it. Which is why the logical person would say, okay, you got to get your finances in order, right? You got to get your, your credit right, fix your credit, do debt snowball, then jump to the next thing. But some people have that drive, that will. And I'll, from a personal experience, I can tell you me personally, when I had this type of income, Right, three thousand. I was I was actually around two thousand before I started making videos. I was making two thousand a month on average, saving five hundred. I was in debt like twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Lost my job in one shot, and then I immediately went into ten x mode. I immediately went into I have to build a business. I have to make the shift. Not too many people will do that. I have a gut feeling that she has the ability to do this, which is why I'm presenting it and going very slow and you know making a video about it so that she can refer back to it, she can see the steps here. These are very few steps, right? Once she gets to this part, when she uses all her cash flow to go into her business and go all in and works with Alex, my friend Alex that does business coaching and uh, marketing, sales, right? Giving her the, the proper steps. She's only going to listen to him. Comes to money, she only listens to me. Comes to spiritual, only listens to Jesus. Okay? Amen? So we have to have our fantasy league. We want to know where we're positioned at. We ultimately want to really focus on one thing at a time, not get overwhelmed, right? So at one point, she was like, I want to do, I want to fix my credit. I want to do that snowball. I want to do velocity banking. I want to do infinite banking. And I want to 10X. I said, whoa, hold up, hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. We got to pick one and go all in on it. So when I lost my job, I, I was the same way. I wanted to fix my credit. I wanted to make income. I wanted to 10X. I wanted to start my infinite banking policy. I want to do velocity banking. And I said, I cut off infinite banking, I cut off velocity banking, I cut off debt snowball, building credit, I cut it all off, and I put everything into my business to build it. Then I 10 x and then I wrote a check, paid off all my debt in one shot, which was in the same amount of time if I would have gotten another job, started cash flowing again, and paying off debt, it would have took the same amount of time. The only difference is I'm in business for myself. I work for myself and I make 10 X more than any other job I would have applied for based on the skills that I had. Okay. So I want to leave you guys with this interesting, untraditional way of obtaining financial freedom in a short period of time. We're talking six to nine months up to a year at max to 10x her income. Even if she 5x, 2x, that is a drastic difference in cash flow gains. I could easily write a check, pay off all this stuff, and then I'm free of all the debt. And I have and I have a business and I'm cash flowing. Okay? So I just want to leave you guys with that. God bless. Enjoy the rest of your evening and talk soon.